So they ghosted you without say giving any explanation or any closure. So you don't know why they ghosted you. You have no clarity. If that is a situation, this reading might be for you. But again, remember, it is a collective reading. It might not resonate with all of you. Okay. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If you want to book a paid private reading, email me at divinemothersguidance at gmail.com. And just a scam alert. I have only one account in TikTok. Divine Mother's Guidance with 2000, uh, oh, sorry, 1023k, 123k plus followers. Okay. And... Um, in Instagram, I have only one account, Divine Mother's Guidance, with 3,700 plus followers. And I have only one YouTube channel, Let's Ask Tarot. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for longer videos. And uh, uh, scammers steal my video, make fake profile everywhere. I don't have Facebook or Telegram, okay? Um, I only do video call reading. So anybody offering you DM reading, that is a shit show. Don't interact. So let us see. Why did they leave you without giving any closure? What is the reason? The first card. Okay, a couple of cards came up actually. Eight of Pentacle. Nine of Pentacle. Queen of Pentacle. Okay, what else? I need three more cards. Two of Beakers. Change. And the last card. Three of Pentacle. Okay. So the first thing I'm getting here with the Eight of Pentacle. Okay, this is Necronomicon Tarot. It's not the regular Tarot. With the Eight of Pentacle here, that this person is standing in front of a lock. You know, can you see that? And they want to open this lock, but somebody is holding them from back. So this person is feeling like there is a, you know, there's a wall. And that looks like to me, like, you know, in the old buildings where they used to hide the treasure and lock, put a lock on that. And, you know, those, you know, with a lot of magical words and keywords kind of vibe I'm getting from this one. So what is this one? It feels like there are a lot of things inside this person's deep inside, which was secret. This is secret. This person is hiding a lot of things from you. Okay. This hiding thing is like something that they cannot disclose at this moment. Now, you were too close to open the door. You were too close to find out the truth. Now, I don't know what it is. I'm not saying it is anything bad or anything good. I don't know what it is at all. But I'm feeling like this person is hiding a lot of things from you or maybe from others too. But you got the key. You almost cracked the code and you are almost about to open this. It can be their personal secret, something that they never wanted to other people know. Also, it can be their heart. This per person might be saving this from other people for a long, long time. They never open to this to other people. They, they never let anybody in their heart. But you came too close to them. You almost cracked their code and almost got the key to their heart. That can be also the thing because this person got scared. Why I'm saying this? Because I'm getting here the nine of pentacles. It is quite like our traditional nine of pentacles. A person keeps these things like, you know, themselves to themselves. A very detached person so this person wants to keep themselves to themselves want to be very detached emotionally detached um you know they don't want to be vulnerable to other people they don't want to open up they always want their independence they don't like other people to be around them uh, they feel intimidated about that so something these two connecting these two i can say it can be either there was a big secret that you were about to know or the big secret that might have come up if you come too close to them that is the reason this person had to ghost you like they just ran away from you is like because they were scared that if they you if they let you come too close to them you will know everything about them you will find their truth or maybe they will be too vulnerable and they will lose their independence and they will let you in you will take over their life you will control their life that can be one factor all right another in some cases okay another thing is like i would like to tell you this card because i'm reading for a collective it can be multiple meaning with these two cards and this card sitting one with this one i would get a vibe in some cases it can be okay first of all necronomicon tarot is different from the normal tarot remember that so this card needs to be read differently uh, queen of pentacle is somebody here um who is a married woman married woman so i think there might be somebody or maybe another woman somebody close to, like a marriage kind of a thing maybe this relationship 
is something that needs to be hidden. It can be this person as a third party that they wanted to hide from you. In some cases, this might be the case. Okay, take what resonates. If you don't know that it's a third party, don't like, you know, start putting the panic button on. Okay, so it can be that this person was hiding this third party from you. And this third party don't, or maybe this third party wants something that this person cannot align with you, um, that they cannot give you due to this third party's presence. That's what they could not tell you and they ran away. And now this third party don't have to be any romantic partner. It can be their brother, mother, sister, brother, whatever it is. Because tarot talks about energy, not gender. It can be like that. So this is one perspective of this. Because again, I'm reading for the collective. I have to remember that in one card um, in a collective reading can mean a lot of things. Now here, depending on the situation, if you don't know the collective, there is, if you know that strongly there is no third party involved, it can be that you are so grounded, you are so you know, uh, also, even if there is no third party or third party, this is another meaning that implies to all of you. I mean, take what is in this kind of a situation always applies. But this can be also another factor that you are so grounded, you are so strong, you are in your life, you are so successful, so motivated. So I mean, you are so caring and nurturing and you don't show them I'm independent. I don't need anybody. I don't need anybody. My vibe is like that. I don't need anybody's validation to be you know, beautiful in my life. I know my shit. Okay. So that is also intimidated this person. Somewhere they feel like they are not up to your mark. They are not up to your standard or whatever you are looking for in this connection. They can't match that vibe. They can't. Maybe you are asking for a higher level of commitment and this person was not interested in this situation. I'm not saying they're a bad person, but they might not be in a situation to do this. So whatever you are wanting and overwhelming them, it's, they just could not take it and they ran away. Okay. Another thing is this two of beakers. Two of beakers is a vibe of like quite like a two of cups. So it's like a soulmate kind of vibe. So that connection is so strong. That's so powerful. Like I'm losing my control. Why I feel so magnetically attracted to this person that I can't stop myself. I don't want to be like that way connected to this person, but there is no other way. But I'm feeling I'm pulled to this per person. The, the chemistry, the attraction is too much for me. I can't deal with this. That can be another reason that this person ran away and ghosted you. Uh, because sometimes people are avoidant. They can't deal with this thing. They feel like very intimidated with this kind of connection, this strong connection. They feel like, oh my gosh, I can't deal with this. Then run away. Also, they run away with the thing that I want them to chase me. I want them to chase me so that they validate me whether I'm really important in their life. So this person running away also another factor is showing that you chase me and show me that you really care. You really want me. I'm really worthy. Okay. Another factor I'm seeing here is the change. Okay. Change is another factor because I believe you are bringing a big change to this person's life. I believe you are triggering this person big time. So this person's all you being in their life, bringing this kind of magnetic connection, actually pulling them to do a lot of things which they never imagined to do. They were thought that they will be able to do that kind of thing. But you are pushing them to do this kind of thing just because being present in their life. You are helping them to heal. And healing can be sometimes very, 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 I don't know what to say. Some The healing journey is not for weak, like faint-hearted people. When you are going through healing, it's like a changing from inside out. It's like breaking all the concepts you have in life you know or doing things and you know crying and bringing out your dark side of it so you are actually making this person to feel that way like they are trying to heal and you are pushing them to heal which is actually making them feel like i can't deal with this i mean this is too much i can't change and this person might be very stubborn in their own way they don't want any change they like things to be the way they always seen they always want so this is their 555 on my counter. That might be a number for you uh, if you see that. So they don't want changes in their life. They want things to be as per their choice. So if you have to come to my life as per my choice, but you are making too much changes in my life. You are making me change me. You are making me change my concept, my boundaries, my things, why it is. But I don't want to do it. I don't want to change. I, I just want to be the piece of shit. I am always why. Why you are triggering me to you know change? I don't want it. So that's another reason they run away. Another thing is like three of pentacle here. There's a plan going on. All right. It is. I believe this connection, the way it came their life, it was not planned, not planned. They didn't do it planfully. They just thought it's going to be a fun. Let's go and talk. But the way this connection becomes so strong, it was totally out of their plan. 
now this person is really feeling like okay this is not something i want i just didn't want to plan like that i was not serious enough but this is turning into a real serious shit show i don't know how to deal with that because i'm feeling the person you are dealing with is not healed they are avoidant they don't very stubborn and they are they just always have a boundary they don't want to let anybody come into their boundary they will always want people to stay outside that boundary but you actually hammered it bad way like you know you actually started to break them into pieces like all their concept their boundaries are breaking down which they scared them to the hell all their secrets are coming up all their dark side is coming up this is really something really scared them to the hell so this is the reason this person you know ran away from you because they could not deal with the powerful presence of you this is a very important message i'm getting your presence is so powerful you are so powerful in this person's life this might be a past life connection or a soulmate kind of connection because of this two because i'm getting the vibe it can be a soulmate connection or that you brought into this person's life and they're feeling like what the fuck i never felt this kind of connection in my life and i'm not used to get this i don't know how to deal with this i cannot let this person in but they are coming in in my life they're they're big time making changes in my life which i never thought i can accept these things are something that really might have made this person intimidated now if this is your situation as you know i was always tell you don't try to bring this person back let them enjoy their life let them do whatever they did they ghosted you if somebody doesn't want you let them go let them go if somebody doesn't want you let them go if somebody wants to be in your life they will deal with their shit their thoughts whatever it is and they will come to your life you know we run behind people we want them to like you know we try to bring them back we beg them please do it for me please come to my life but it's such a disaster because at the end of the day if they want to be in your life they will put the effort that you don't have to beg anymore you don't have to beg it is exhausting it is exhausting to beg be with me spend time with me give me commitment this is so exhausting this is so exhausting it's it's not worth it's not worth it's not worth if somebody loves you they should be loving you they will be feeling the similar way it should be two way it's not one sided that you always want to spend time with them they don't want to spend time with them they don't want you you are giving one sided and you know they are always taking from you they don't show any effort they don't show any energy they don't feel like it's like if you send a passage to them they will reply with one line they don't match your energy if you feel sad that i want to be with you i'm feeling like being with you and they start send you a you know meaningless message which has no emotion attached this is not your person they don't want to they don't want to be in your life let them go let them go you know this is all week i can suggest you because you know if somebody doesn't want to be in their life no point of bringing you in their life pulling them and just you know stretching it one day they want to leave you anyways so in if this is that they are thought if they meant to be in your life they will make changes in their life and come to your life to show you and match your energy that's important otherwise all those things you know we do to bring them and make them feel like you know come here stay spend time time with me this is actually you know pulling your putting yourself in a, such a bad situation this is no good so if somebody goes to you let them go let them spend the time with the people they want to spend so there might be if there is nobody else in your life to spend time with spend the time with yourself love yourself make a relationship with yourself spend time with yourself you don't really need another person to validate you okay take care sweetheart bye